Hey everybody, I thought I'd do a really quick mini tutorial about color today. If you have difficulty choosing the right colors, you're probably not alone in this. I know I've struggled with it sometimes, and the best way that I have found to do this digitally is to use a special index color method. So, I've opened my swatches here, you can get to this from window, and if you go to image, mode, and indexed color, you can choose how many different swatches you want to sample from this. This is just a painting I did over a year ago, and I'm just going to choose 64 to keep it a little bit more simple. Nothing happens right off the bat, but if you go back to image and go into mode again, and down here at color table, you'll notice that we now have a palette, and we can save this out. So I'm going to save it on the desktop as green. Hit OK. And so if I want to replace my swatches with this new palette, Get to replace. It doesn't show up immediately. You have to go down here to type and say ACT. Voila. And this is really cool. Now 64 is even maybe too many different colors to choose from, you know, to be functional. So what I like to do once I've selected a palette from a photo or from another painting is I will just grab the color and I'll start to lay it down. and I'll choose another color. And I'm just choosing the most dominant colors here. And maybe this one, get yellow green. And once you've gotten a good collection of them, you can basically reduce them again. So if I was to take all these colors, and I think I see one more, oops. One more that I missed. It's kind of purple color here. And now that I have these, I can just go ahead and do the same thing again. I'm just going to make a selection of all of it. Fill it with some color that you want to uh, over arc. If you want it to be darker, then choose a black. If you want it to be lighter, choose a white. It really is up to you. And once you've reduced this down again, you can go back to the same thing index and this time I'm going to choose something a little bit more respectable like 16 and image again mode color table and now I have these colors and this is way more useful to me as a designer because I can pick them more discreetly so take photos find paintings you like create palettes you like and then you have a huge library to choose from just to give you guys a inclination of this. I'll show you kind of a few ones that I've got here. So I have a bunch of different stuff um, and I even got some artists that I like that I've reduced down like Yurka um, and again you know you can't see this stuff until you switch over but see this is like way too many tones you want to just pick a few colors from this and then reduce it down again to create a functional palette I hope you guys found this useful. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks.